I'm going Washington. Yeah, yeah. It's, first of all, let me say the policing is a local matter, in my view. Of course, it has national implications, because serious crime, organized crime, big drug dealing, that's national. But most crime is local. It's about local communities. And for the first time, the PCC will enable those people who live in the local communities to influence their police force through a locally elected individual. Instead of waiting for the Home Office to manage Policing. And there's a problem in my area, I write to my MP, my MP speaks to the Home Secretary, and so on. If, there's a, if I'm upset, I have a directly elected individual who I probably know, who certainly lives in my patch, who will understand my needs and my problems and will deal with them. So I think it's a, it's a revolution in policing because it's now made local policing responsible to local individuals. I don't mind if the turnout is 8.5% uh, or 0.5% as long as good candidates, in this case my conservative candidates, win. Because people don't know anything about this. For 150 years there has been never, the, you know, the police have been managed in a particular way out of the center with local, there have been local authorities, uh, uh, local police authorities and so on, but mainly out of the center. The center is now giving up this responsibility. People aren't used to it. They don't know what's involved. So naturally they're probably not going to bother to vote. A, you know, November, cold, strange to have an election in November anyway, uh, a new uh, office that people never heard of, and of course very few people will make the effort. But when they recognize how important these jobs are, when they recognize that this person will control the policing resources for their community, they'll very soon start coming out next election after. This is just the beginning. It's the first time. And every time you have the first time, you know, people, people fail to recognize the opportunity. We want people to grasp the opportunity, but you can't talk to them about it. They've got to see it for themselves, and they will see it. And in four years' time, when we have the next one, they will all come out. I mean, I'm not worried about the turnout now. It would be very odd if suddenly people, with all the other issues going on in the country, would suddenly say, this is the most important thing for me, because they don't even know about it. So, you know, it's, it's tricky. Most people only know the sports scores. They don't know what's happening in uh, uh, you know, policing, management of policing. It's never been seen as something which an individual in a community can influence. No, I think the government is going to have a campaign. I don't think the government should do more. The government has introduced this policy. The elections will take place. There are candidates up and down the country. It's for, for those, the rest of us, citizens, to take an interest in what happens. The government gives us an opportunity to vote, can't actually force us to vote. Can, I mean, how much do we need the government to tell us to do? I mean, we could have ads in the paper all the time. Taking our tax pounds, spending it on adverts to tell us to uh, go and vote, but most people won't take any notice anyway because they don't understand what's happening. They have to see for themselves that it's important. So if I saw an advert in a paper saying, vote for PCCs on November 15th, I'd probably turn the page, get onto the sports scores. There has been a negative bias since this first started. Remember, there are interests here have been affected by the introduction of PCCs. The police authorities are being done away with. So the Association of Police Authorities, which represents those people who are on police authorities, are very negative about it. They lose their job. The Association of Chief Police Officers has not been happy either, because remember, a PCC has the power to fire a chief constable. That's a very, very big change. So naturally, they haven't been thrilled about it either. The Labour Party is not excited about it. Uh, so you have plenty of people who have been negative about this extension of democracy. That's what it is. It's a big extension of local democracy. Now, not everyone is excited because some people lose. Where you and I gain, uh, because we're not on a police authority, we're not a chief constable, uh, others will lose. And I don't um, blame them for the, uh, opposing it. That's what democracy is all about. But it's now the law of the land and we have elections on November 15th, and people should seize this opportunity to vote.